So some sisters were denying entry at a restaurant in Paris. The sisters to me seemed like they were having a girl's night time out, but on getting to the entrance of the restaurant, they were told by the security man there at the door that they couldn't get in and the reason he gave was that they were not dressed appropriately enough or decently enough, something to do with their dressing, um, bottom line. So let's take a look at the clip see if they were indecently dressed or if this is again another case of rape to the system everything i like the head piece so oh lovely dress they look pretty we went to restaurant manco <laughs> Another service is like this. Ah, ça c'est tenue de soirée. But this is true. This happening. Ce qui vient de passer. This is. Attends, attends, wait, wait. Attends, attends, attends. I wanna see. I wanna see. Every single white person could get in, no matter what they were wearing. <laughs> Attends, attends, attends. Wait, wait, combat. Okay. Mais on est habillé en tenue de soirée là. C'est une blague ou quoi Attends. Mais parce que je, parce que je peux comprendre de de, de, de ils portent des jeans, mais on porte on porte pas de jeans. Ah, pourquoi C'est la première fois qu'on m'arrête parce que j'ai réservé, j'ai le message et je suis pas en tenue de soirée, c'est une blague. Attends, j'ai envie de voir. I never thought I would live such a degrading experience. No, it's a black thing. Thing. No, 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 thing. I just want to know if they will let them in or not. Attends. C'est pas possible. He's, oh my god, this is... My first experience of rape. The scene lasted one hour. I didn't film everything because I was in shock. She was in shock. This is her first time experiencing rape to the season, but one hour to save ourselves more embarrassment, like leave immediately. Of course, yes, take the quick video of the situation that's happening because we need these videos to be able to say, okay, this is what they are doing. I mean, historically, these videos are going down in history. These are evidences, of course, but get there, quickly make the recording and dash out don't stay there for an hour um just standing in front of the door it, it's it's um that it's already a degrading embarrassing situation as it is don't um, make it even more um embarrassing for yourself let's not make it even more embarrassing for ourselves does that make any sense i hope it makes sense but then again this is just my opinion but i do want to hear what you guys think of this do you think they should have been there for a whole hour. Oh, wait, let me make my call. On ne va pas rester ici. Even though we are not going to get in, I'm going to call. Okay, I want to I want to know. I want to know. Regarde. Regarde, regarde. I want to know. Mais ça me choque, ça existe pour de vrai. Non, ça me choque. Et, 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 et moi je veux savoir c'est quoi mon problème j'aurais dû porter quoi He had a whack reason for every single black person Non moi je veux savoir c'est quoi soirée maybe Obviously racially motivated, it doesn't matter what the sisters had worn when they were going, even if they had covered themselves from their head to their toes, they still would not have been let in. The problem wasn't the clothes, the problem was who was in the clothes. The Peruvian themed venue denies having a rate to desist policy and has apologized to the three shocked women who filmed their experience on July 16th and posted it on TikTok. The doorman, however, said that he was told right away, you shouldn't let many Africans in. You shouldn't let many people from the Maghreb North Africa in. This he told BFM television. Named as Damien by the channel, the bouncer was removed after the TikTok clip went viral, but he 
said the directives came from the managers and he was simply following the policy of the establishment. Damien, who worked for a private security company, said he had been told to find pretext to refuse entry to non-white customers. So what this establishment is trying to tell us, what they want us to believe is that this bouncer guy came and was enforcing his own beliefs at the door. He came and was just doing what he wanted to do. <laughs> Are you guys buying that? Let me know down below in the comment section. I personally find this hard to believe though, if I'm being honest. I think the establishment is trying to pin this whole thing on the bouncer guy, make him take the fall for it. There are two doors and the other bouncer could have easily said, oh guys, you can come pass through here. But he didn't. Hmm. I wonder why. I low-key wish one of them went to try to pass through the other door. The saddest part is other clients of the establishment walking in as they watch Ray to the season unfold before their very eyes and not batting an eyelid. Humanity has a long way to go. Hmm. If we they talk about humanity, we see they are those people. They don't care. As long as it's not affecting them, they don't care. You know, before, eh, I used to wonder how did these people do all those terrible things that they did in the past for the long period of time that they did it. But now I don't wonder again because on a daily, I see exactly how they were able to do it because them, them had no problem with it happening. You see exactly how they were walking by when this whole thing was happening at the door. That's exactly how in the past they will see inhumane things happening if they are not participating they are walking by not caring because it doesn't affect them but funny how if you meet these people they will tell you that they are good people bad things would continue to happen as long as good people continue to do nothing continue to say nothing it would continue to happen and that's exactly what we continue to see on a daily basis I mean, let's stop forcing people to accept us. Let's stop forcing people to serve us. If they have an establishment where they say they don't want you in, then well, you take your money and you go where you are wanted. I'm sure there are like black restaurants that these sisters could have gone to, that these people could have gone to. Go to black owned restaurants. So yeah, take your money, take your beautiful self, your handsome self, go sit yourself somewhere that you would actually be welcomed. You know, this is another point where we talk about how we should start building our own. Make it exquisite, make it top notch. Let's take ourselves and our assets to our own communities. Like take that money, go put it into a black owned restaurant, go be a customer at a black owned restaurant. Like, you know, let's keep it tight knit for ourselves. You see how they are doing things for them and themselves only? What are we doing? We have the population, we have the money, we can build ourselves. I feel bad for them. It's crazy that anybody have to experience rate this season, anybody have to be embarrassed like this in public, just you know, degraded and you know put down for something as crazy as the color of, of the skin. Not that anybody have to be degraded or put down for any reason whatsoever, but you know, it's crazy that rate to the season still in 2022 alive and thriving it's mad ready to the season it's an insane concept i mean surface value we understand it to be you know not liking people because of the color of their skin but when you think about it really does that make any sense this wild and still in 2022 it, it's crazy but honestly i feel bad for this sister i mean they they dolled up had their hair done makeup on flick and everything nice dresses just to get there <coughs> and be turned down like that it, it's crazy nobody should have to go through that at all nobody should have to experience that but yeah guys let me know down below in the comment section what you think agreement disagreement all down below in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next one bye